Hey everybody, this is Lana from Modern Home Systems Rancho Santa Fe bringing you today's tech tip. Split keyboard and add keyboard for iPad. Alright, the first thing we're going to get into is going to be split keyboard. And we're going to show you the difference here. Uh, the first thing when it comes to a keyboard, let's select on the screen here. We're going to bring up our keyboard settings. Here you have the keyboard slides in from the bottom. Also, same where you're in landscape mode. We're going to go back to portrait mode here. Uh, and you can see when pressing, you can either go with single finger, selecting each letter on the screen, which sometimes can really slow you down. If you're used to the styles of texting or writing while with an iPhone, you notice you can put your hand on either side of the device, here or here, or in the landscape mode, of course, here or here, and then you can type with your thumbs. On. Of course, that's a lot easier on a smaller device. The iPad being bigger, a 10 inch screen it's a lot harder to get your thumbs in there and get really fast typing going on so what we're going to do is show you how to do split keyboard which will give you the same feature that you would get from typing on an iPhone so to do this we're going to go into settings once in settings we're going to go into general here in the third row and then we're going to scroll all the way down and get into keyboard once we are in keyboard you can see right here in this section here we have the ability to do split keyboard and all we have to do is select that we're gonna go back to the home screen back into notes and now we're gonna select anyone on the screen bring up the keyboard but now you can see we have this little icon down here on the bottom right hand side what we're gonna do is click and hold that down and all we have to do is slide up to split and there you go you have split keyboard so now you can have your fingers on either side of the screen and you can now type so that was a lot quicker to do because I can do it with each thumb on each hand um, and also when you turn it into landscape mode it becomes even more beneficial because the screen is farther apart but yet your fingers can easily uh, get to either side when using your thumbs that is a really cool feature. When you want to take it out of that mode, all you have to do is go back into this little icon here, hold that down, and then you can merge the dock, which will bring it together in the same position it is in the center. Or you can hold the button down, slide up again, so we can see the other option. Hit split, one more time, click it down, and then we're gonna go into, don't, uh, right here it's going to be uh, dock and merge excuse me select that and that'll bring it back down to the bottom all right that's basically the easiest way to split it just by slicking, uh, selecting the toggle and you got split keyboard now we're also going to show you another feature in settings in the keyboard settings and that is adding a keyboard uh, if you also want to you can also you know text message uh, and email and everything you can do from iPads the same thing as it is on iPhone but you also have what's called emojis. A lot of people like to send uh, cool little cartoon faces to each other. Instead of writing a word, they can just express what they want in a visual little emoji face. So just by adding keyboard here, we can either add other languages. You can see here there's Chinese, um, you have Danish, you have different, um, whatever language you speak, you can text and you have that option there as well. So what we can do here, we'll add emojis. This is a very popular one for people who are texting. And we'll go back to the home screen here. Hit on our notes. And then now, select on the screen. And there we go. All right. I'm going to do split keyboard for this one. Oh, excuse me. There we go. We're going to split the keyboard. And now we have an emojis option. And to do so, we're going to click this little world here. And that word is going to allow us to use emojis. We're going to select the second keyboard. So we have our US keyboard here, which will have the standard keyboard layout. Then we're going to hit emojis. And you can see here with emojis, you can choose a bunch of different options here. You click on people. And you have a bunch of little faces you can choose from here on the side. You just scroll up, you can see more options. Same thing you would have on your iPhone. I bet a lot of you have already used these. Uh, you have the same categories, nature, objects, places, and symbols. 
and if you use a bunch in a row the most recently used ones will be here at the top for the ones that you commonly use the most now i'm going to show you how to enter another one just to go over it one more time we're going to hit the home screen here go back into settings we're going to go to keyboards add another keyboard we'll do a really cool one here uh, we're going to do chinese simplified handwriting this is another cool feature on it so if you happen to speak Chinese and you know how to write in Chinese, this one's really neat. I know uh, the Chinese language with the actual letters that they write and the way they write, it can be a little complicated pressing a button. So what this allows you to do now, select your keyboard. We're going to go up here now, select this, and you have a different layout here. So what we're going to do is copy one of the letters, one of the words down here. You can physically draw with your finger. And it'll start giving you that selection of what you're trying to do there. And this side there. And you can see, to, whatever you draw in there, you can physically draw with your finger, and it'll bring up the icons that you're trying to do there. So that might be a lot easier for somebody who's actually trying to write in Chinese, whatever language they want. All right, so that was split keyboard and adding keyboard on iOS 7. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And for any more information, feel free to contact us here at the Rancho Santa Fe location, and we'll be glad to help.